Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my eyeshadow palette collection for you. Um, so no face palettes, it's just all eyeshadows. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy watching these videos on YouTube, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you mine. And just a little disclaimer, I am in no way bragging about how much makeup I have because no one in their right mind needs this much makeup. Um, but I really enjoy collecting eyeshadow palettes. Like that's my number one thing I love collecting. Um, but yeah, so if you would like to see what palettes I have, then go ahead and stay tuned. And another thing, um, if I'm whispering, it's because I am filming this at midnight. So I'm just trying to be quiet, not wake anyone up. Let's get right into the video. The first palette that I have here is the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. And I got this in like a makeup swap. Sorry, it's reflective. Um, I really do not like this palette. The only two shades I use are these two, and I pretty much have them in other palettes that I like. So I might actually give this away. The next palette is from here, and it's the Soiree Diaries, and I actually got this in my September BoxyCharm, so if you saw that video, then you would see this. These two rows are all matte, and then the bottom four are shimmer. Um, this is a really good palette. I enjoy it more on other people than on myself, but other than that, it's a really nice palette. The next palette is... Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place and I love this palette. I used it more than I thought I would. Um, I used the colors more than I thought I would. Um, but yeah, this is a really good palette. Next palette is my Tardis, my Tarte Tardis Pro palette. There was like mixed reviews on this, um, mainly bad, but I love Tarte Shadow so much that I was like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and try it out for myself, and I love this palette. Like, it's one of my favorites. The next palette is by Urban Decay, and it is my Gwen Stefani palette. And I got this palette because it was on sale for like $25, and I was like, hey, can't pass up on a cell on a palette so yeah um I usually just keep this for the packaging I do makeup on other people so I usually keep it like if I have a fair fair client um this it's a beauty palette and it's um the ones you can make yourself so I have um this one's an Ulta shadow I have some Makeup Geek, some MAC, some Luxie Beauty, some Ofra, and I want to say that's it. Um, I used this palette the other day and I really, really enjoyed enjoyed it. Like I, I like the look. I usually don't like pinky tone looks, but um, I really like this one. The next palette I got when I was in beauty school, so it's by Co Cosmetics. these different shades in it. I like never use this palette at all. So there's that one. Okay so my next palette is by NYX and it's the NYX Avant Pop palette in Nouveau Chic. I don't know how you say that. Um, I actually dug my nail in that color but overall this palette is amazing. I love NYX shadows. I love NYX period. Um, I really got it for like this olive shade, but I've never used it, um, but I do plan on using this very soon. It's by Makeup Revolution, and this is the Neutrals versus Neutrals, and that's what this looks like. Um, I got this because I heard it was dupe for the Modern Renaissance, um, and I didn't have that palette at the time. So I picked this one up and it's pretty good for the price. It's about ten, twelve dollars. Um but yeah, the colors are really pretty. Um and like
like if you're a beginner or something, this is a really good palette. It's from Anastasia, and this is the Master Palette by Mario. And this is actually a fake. Um, I really, really wanted this palette, and it was sold out everywhere, and I found it. I mean, I should have known from the price they were selling it at, but I didn't care. I just wanted it. Um, I've used it like twice. It's pretty good. It's obviously not Anastasia quality, but whatever. Next palette is my Anastasia Shadow Couture World Traveler palette. And that's what this looks like. And it is beautiful. Um, my favorite shades are Morocco Fudge, Paint Champagne Chic, and Metallic. And then this blue is so pretty. Um, I used to use this palette a lot. Next is my Anastasia Self Made palette. And this one also has pink champagne in it. Um, but yeah, that shade's just so pretty. Um, I really like this palette. I just hate that I can't get a whole look out of it just because there's not enough matte. But, I mean, I use this usually on my clients during prom season, and I really like it for that. Next is the Modern Renaissance, and I'm sure everyone knows what this looks like. I use this palette like crazy. Like, if I don't know what eye look I want to do, I just go to my Modern Renaissance. But, yeah, that's what that looks like. Beautiful. Hate the packaging. It just gets so dirty. My most recent purchase is actually the Anastasia Holiday Palette. And this is the Prism Palette. And this one, just look at those colors. They're so beautiful. I've actually used this quite a few times. And I really, really enjoy it. Um, I wasn't going to get this, but once I saw the colors and the swatches, I was like, yes, I need it. And it's pretty different from what I have in my collection already. My next two palettes are the Naked palettes. And I have the Naked 1 and the Naked 2. And my husband, well, my, he was my boyfriend at the time, but he actually bought these for me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you know what they look like. This is the first one. Love it. Used to like crazy. And then this is the second one. I've dropped this one a few times, but that's what that looks like. And these two palettes, I don't care how old they get, I would never get rid of them. This means so much to me. The next two are by Too Faced, and they're my chocolate bar palettes. So I have the original chocolate bar. That's what this looks like. And I dropped this once, and my favorite shade was Champagne Truffle, and that's the one that broke. And I actually thought about repurchasing the whole palette just for that one shade. And I have the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. That's what that one looks like. This one's more warm tone to me, I feel. Um, I love all the shades in this one except for Blueberry Swirl and Pink Sugar. Pink Sugar just has like no pigment. Well, they both don't have any pigment, but yeah. My next palette is also another palette I would never get rid of no matter how old it is. And it's the La Rock Pro palette. This is the first one. Um, this was the first high-end palette I ever bought for myself, and that's one reason I would never get rid of it, but the other reason is because I actually used this the day of my baby shower with my son. It's just great. Look at that pigment. So amazing. Love that one. The next one is by Kat Von D, and it's the Shade and Light Eye Palette, and this is in her old packaging. Um, but this is an all matte palette and I don't have any all matte palettes so I usually keep this one for that. It really is a great palette, like so pigmented, like this black is crazy. Uh, those aren't the best swatches but yeah. 
really like that palette. The next palette I have is by Morphe and it is the Caffeine Lights palette. Um, that's what this looks like and it's beautiful. My favorite shade in here is actually this mustard color. Um, it's so pretty. Next one is my Too Faced Stardust by Vegas May palette. And the funny thing is, um, I actually got this because it came in a set with a mini Better Than Sex Mascara, mini Shadow Insurance, and a loose glitter pigment. And I really wanted that glitter pigment, so I legit spent $45 just for the pigment. I mean, I use the palette, I really like it, but that was the main reason I got it. Next one is by BH Cosmetics, and it is the Carly Bible Palette. And that's what this looks like. Um, this is a good palette for the price. The mattes seem a little dry to me, but I really love the highlights in this palette. So, have that one. My next one is my Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. And this was actually a gift from my mom. Um, this was before I was getting into color, um, so I never really used it as much. And I actually thought about selling it, but since it was a gift from my mom and the palette hoarder in me, I decided to keep it. My The Rock Mega Pro palettes, and I have the first and third one. So this one is actually a fake too. Um, but the looks I got from it, I really liked. But yeah, there's that one. And then the next palette is my Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. And this palette is just so pretty, like, it's so beautiful. Um, I hate the packaging. It's that, like, hard to clean packaging when it gets super dirty. But I would love this top row, like I use those the most, but I don't use the shimmers too much surprisingly, but I really do love the mattes in here. The next three palettes are from Morphe. Um, first one is the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. And um, as you can see, that one completely shattered. Those two shattered, but I saved them. Um, but this like, I love this palette so much. You have like your pinks and your purples, pop of green, some oranges, some bronze, some browns. It's beautiful. And you can actually get all those shades in singles. The next Morphe palette is the Morphe 35O. And I'm sure you know what this looks like too. This is like a warm lover's dream. Yeah. It's, I don't know what else to say, but it's just beautiful. My last palette in this drawer is my Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. And this is like that same white material that gets so dirty. But anyways, um, the colors are just so beautiful. I'm sorry I keep saying they're so beautiful. They just are. I love eyeshadows. I have a tutorial using this blue color, and I will link that down below for you. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite palettes right now. Okay, so my next palettes I have in my acrylic organizer over here. And the first one I have is my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Brights. And I got this because I had no bright shadows before. But yeah, I really, really like this palette and it's so pigmented. Um, the next one, the next two are from Tarte. I told you Tarte's like one of my favorites, but this one is the Man Eater palette. And I love this palette. Like, like the colors may seem boring, but you can get a very neutral, natural eye. You can get a really dramatic eye. Um, it's just a really versatile palette. 
and I initially only wanted it for the packaging. The next one is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom. I did have the first Tartlet palette, but I didn't like it. Um, I felt like they were dry um, and too cool tone for me, um, but this one is my favorite. The next three are by ColourPop. So the first one I have is the Yes Please palette. And that's what this one looks like. This one's more like the warm yellow orange colors. Um, I really, really love this palette. It's so amazing for the price. You don't get a mirror, but that's okay with me. Um, I hate this packaging though. We have that one. Next one I have from them. This one's reflective. This is the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. And that's what this one is. This one has more shimmers in it, um, but I really love this palette. I've used it quite a few times already. Um, but it's so pretty. My last ColourPop palette is the You Had Me at Hello palette, and this is my newest one. I just got this in this past weekend, but I've already dug into it. It's more neutral with a hint of a rose, um, but it's such a pretty palette. You could get so many different looks from it, um, and this one does come with a mirror. The next palette is this Tartlet's Tease palette. Um, this is actually new. I've never used it. Um, I'm thinking of giving this away as a gift. Though. One more drawer, and it is my smaller drugstore palettes. So the first palette I have in here is by Beauty Treats, and this is a $2 palette. And the reason I got this was because of Zabrina on YouTube compared it to the Busy Art palette. And if you know Busy Art, it's an $80 palette. So I was like, hey, save 78 bucks and try this out. And it's amazing for the price. And I got that F5 below. Next one is a Sally's Beauty like travel palette. It had like the four slots, but I took it out. Um, and I just have two shadows that I got from Ipsy that I never use. Next two palettes are by CoverGirl, and I have the Roses and the Goldens. Um, these are great quality. Like, I never really like CoverGirl stuff, but these blew my mind. Um, so this one's the Goldens one. If you're on a budget, these are amaze balls. Next one is an Ulta Beauty palette, and this was actually like a gift with purchase. Um, I've never used this palette. I think I swatched it, and my son dug a brush into it, but other than that, I've never used it. My next palette is by Milani, and this is the Everyday Eyes Earthy Elements. And of course, I grabbed it for this orange shade. But I mean, I'm just a warm tone lover. And yeah, it's a great palette. The next two palettes are by e.l.f. So I have the Prism eyeshadow palette in Sunset. That's what this looks like. I haven't used this one yet. Um, I swatched it. But these would be amazing with a little bit of water or Fix Plus. And then I have the Mad for Matte 2. And this is an all matte palette from e.l.f. Um, it's so beautiful. Like e.l.f.'s palettes can be like a hit and miss. Um, but this one is definitely a hit. And I plan on doing a tutorial using these two palettes soon. So, yeah. And the last two palettes are from Wet n Wild. So I have the Comfort Zone palette and the Poster Child palette. Um, this one I just used in my Halloween mermaid look. 
and it's a really good palette. The next one is like a cult classic and it is the Comfort Zone palette and everyone loves it for this one shade. And this is actually like a dupe for MAC Club eyeshadow and blue-brown pigment. Um, but yeah, it's such a beautiful shade. That concludes my eyeshadow palette collection. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!